welcome to my channel. This series of videos will be unboxing videos for my new gaming PC. You can also check out the links below for my live stream channels. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified each and every time that I post a new video. And with that said, let's get started. Hi guys, so today's uh, unboxing slash mini review video is going to be for the Cooler Masters Master Fan 140R. Okay, so here's the front of the box. It says Master Fan MF140R with ARGB, uh, with a uh, addressable RGB lighting effects. Here is the back of the box. And it says addressable RGB that achieves full color customization, certified compatible with ASUS, Aura, AS Rock RGB, and MSI RGB. Also says it has a silent cooling technology, a mix of noise reduction technology and sound, absorbing rubber pads for peace and quiet, even when your PC is working overtime. Also mentions a, a smart fan sensor for jam protection. Never uh, worry about your cables getting snagged again. Okay, so let me go ahead and open it. You get your fan and your four screws for installation. And there you go. Okay, so I do have one already opened. I'm going to set this one to the side uh, because I do want to talk to you about some of the features and also some issues I've run across. Okay, so here is one that I attempted to install. This would have been the second one. Um, I want you guys to notice the uh, cables here. Um, you have a three pin header for your RGB lighting, a four pin header for your fan power. This is a Cooler Master factory installed fan. It came on my uh, C700M Cosmos case that I have. Now, look how long this cord is. I've measured these. This is 20 inches. When you compare it to the Cooler Masters ARGB fan, this is only 12. So, I am not sure why they chose to put such short cables on here. Um, I have one installed right now. Um, I was not able to install this one or the third one that's, uh, that I just unboxed because if you have a medium to larger case, even if it is Cooler Master, um, you're going to have some problems with installation because the wires aren't long enough to reach the power source in the back. So um, I had to stop the installation and go back online and order extensions. Um, so it's going to cause an issue with cable management and all of that good stuff. Um, so you would think if I'm buying a Cooler Master ARGB fan that it's going to be at least the same cord length uh, as the factory installed fan. So I'm not really happy about that. Um, so if you're thinking about getting these fans for your computer uh, even if you do have a cooler master case I would say go ahead and order the extensions when you order this at the price point cooler master could have really put the extension in if they weren't going to make the cables longer um, it probably cost them less than a dollar to make the extenders for this so um, I, I just I'm, I'm pretty upset right now because I mean, they knew what they were doing when they made these cables short, so the least they could have done was give us the extension. Um, <clears throat> these have a sensor. It's called a smart sensor. And I'm going to test it out for you guys in a minute uh, on the one that I have installed. So, allegedly, if something gets caught in the fan when it's spinning, it will, you know, it'll stop uh, to keep it from getting wound 
up in your fan and breaking it and all that. So I'm going to show you the one I have installed and uh, I'm going to try to stick a cord in there and see if it really does stop. Um, it does say, like on the on the back of the box, uh, quiet technology, but these fans are not quiet in my opinion. Um, they are actually kind of loud. So uh, just so you guys um, know that and are aware of that. Uh, if you guys have any questions or whatever, you can um, leave them down in the comment box and I will try to answer them. Um, so I'm going to pan over to my uh, case. It's not it's not finished being built, but um, you're able to. I'll I'll show you guys um, the fan that I do have installed. Okay, so as you can see, this is the one fan that I was able to install today. Um, I'm going to show you how you can uh, change your lighting options with the button that comes on the C700M Cosmos case. So um, right now it's currently set uh, at the rainbow setting. So um, you can go down a couple of more uh, choices if you don't like that one. Okay, and then that is completely off. So once you've reached there, you'll push the up button again and it will start cycling up through your choices. This is the one I tend to keep mine on. And then, you know, you have your solid colors here. Um, once you've reached the red color, there's no more options after that point. Um, so uh, it's a pretty cool feature. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, anybody that's thinking about getting the case um, or, you know, has thoughts about it or whatever, I think this is a great feature that they added. It's really quick. Just to push up a button and you can, you know, change it to how you like it. Okay, so um, I want to apologize for all the cables. Uh, right now, I haven't really got to the point in my build where I'm focusing on cable management uh, right now. Um, I do want you guys uh, to see the controller here. This did come with a case, um, but you are not able to customize your ARGB lighting because there was no software that came uh, with this to be able to do it. So you have to use the lighting effects that came uh, in the case already. The ones I went through and showed you guys, those are the only ones you can choose from. Um, so that's kind of a letdown. I would have really enjoyed being able to customize the case uh, a little bit more um, than I, uh, especially with the lighting that I have been. For the price point, I, I would have expected to be able to do that, but unfortunately, I am not. Um, I do want you guys to know I do still have two factory installed fans still plugged up. Um, right here is where the ARGB fan is and as you can see this is the wire here. Let me let me see if I can turn it here. Okay so this is it. It's a very tight fit. It barely plugs in. Okay when I went to go install the second fan it would have had to go a little bit further and it will not reach at all. Um, so I'm only putting the top two fans in the front and then the fan in the back. The fan in the back, I did try that one as well, would not reach at all. Um, because like I said, the, the cables are entirely, entirely too short. So I'm going to preface this demonstration with the fact that I do have dogs and this is going to probably make a loud sound. So if they bark, uh, that is why they're barking, just a heads up, you guys. Um, so I am going to read this verbatim off the box here about the uh, smart fan sensor for jam protection. It says, never worry about your cab cables getting snagged again. Um, my understanding is that it's supposed to stop so that it doesn't like rip your cords off and everything. So we're going to test this out. I have a, a cable here. And um, don't try this at home. This is only for the video demonstration. I don't want you breaking your fans or breaking your PC or anything like that. So here we go. Okay, as you can see, 
the fan does not stop when something um, hits it or it did go in a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how accurate the smart sensor is or if there's one in there. Um, so there was my demonstration for you guys. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, um, please leave them down below in the comment box. Um, I will. S I bought these fans off Newegg um, just because the price point was a little better. I can provide a, a link for that if you guys are interested in it. Um, and I will update you guys um, when I have the extensions and have the fans installed. I'll give you guys another peek. Uh, to see what how that went and everything so um, that's gonna be it for this video um, until next time guys see you then <laughs>